Hello everybody and welcome back. So this is my recap for If Loving You Is Wrong, Season 3, Episode 14, The Battleground State. Even doggone Randall don't believe Alex telling the doggone truth. <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> Considering he the reason she was doing all this lying in the first place. So... Randall said he gonna leave Alex alone long enough to go destroy Marcy life, but he'll be he'll be back. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Randall's crazy. So they ended up sending um, Kelly a public defender. Look, Lucian crazy because if they think they gonna send Kelly a good attorney that's good enough to beat them in court, he got another thing coming. Come on, Lucian, be for real. Everybody saw this coming. They not about to send Kelly somebody better than them to beat them up in court. They getting paid. They getting paid a grip of money. This boy, folks, probably got everybody um, in a five hundred mile radius on retainer. So. They can keep their thieving, crazy nutcake for kids out of trouble. Because Ian already let it drop another episode that the brother, uh, Travis rushed than the brother was. So they let you know the whole family was just bonkers. So, I mean, you already know. But I hope Lucian and Marcy going to hurry up and convince Ian and otherwise. But I got a feeling this public, public defender, he going to be some good because... He keep on being persistent. And with his persistence, let me know that um, he must be doggone good. So they'll start pulling the foul on this public defender. Basically, like they Googling him and they coming to find out, yeah, he, he, he may be pretty good. But I don't like the public, public defenders because a lot of times public defenders want you to either take some kind of plea deal or bargain even if you didn't do it. So we'll see. But um, all these cult, to me, in my opinion, all these people from this cult church got their kids going to school messing with justice, justice and convincing him that Kelly done, uh, killed Travis. And how come the boy didn't know his mom and the that shot Travis and this lady sitting up in jail and this boy going to school every day and it's been on the news and it's around the church and the church folk and y'all know they crazy. Why this boy didn't know? Why y'all sheltering this boy like that? And like, like the boy uh, five years old, he, he practically, if he ain't a teenager, he close enough to know. If he playing video games and he got uh, he owed he old enough to know what his mama his mama done done and what Travis was doing to her. But anyway, so this entire time, Travis was stealing Kelly money through justice by convincing him he was helping her. This why he should have been told the truth from the very beginning. Instead of being shut, the people need to start telling their kids certain things. Kelly lied to Justice about Travis. Now Lucian lied to Kelly about how Justice doing. Then if he get in trouble at school, she going to be mad and yelling. My bad, I thought you said he was okay. And then Natalie going to have to get her together about lying to the boy in the first place because they have been told her that they, she should uh told Justice about um him. And and then she should have told Justice about her real, his real daddy maybe coming home anyway. Oh, excuse me. It's late. But I wanted to go on and get this done. So anyway, Kelly caused a lot of this on herself. She bats. She flicked it. So Marcy working her magic on end slowly but surely. Um, she getting his head real, real nice. I had Bernie Mac say real nice, real nice. So I hope she going to get to him. So anyway, um, Brad going to show up to the bar and mess things up because Marcy going to go run over there to him like some little ding dingleberry. And then he gonna come running over there, sitting down at the table. They sitting all close enough on each other, just being rude. Marcy trying to do the most. But anyway, I feel like, well, there go Kelly attorney because Ian trying to get next to Marcy and Marcy trying to get next to Brad. That's gonna mess up Kelly's little situation, but we'll see. Anyway, 
So they sitting there talking. He sitting there talking to Brad, uh, Marcy, and Brad, and um, they get to talking. And Ian start putting two, two and two together and realize that Randall is Marcy's ex husband because they ain't really never said names when um, Brad says the baby is not his; it's his neighbor's baby. Then she realized the neighbor's Randall's, and Randall is Marcy's ex husband. So yeah, um. All of that came together. So, just a hot mess. And in walks Randall. So, Randall does have a tracking device on <laughs> Brad card. Because I was trying to figure it out. The last episode was it on Marcy card Brad. It's on Brad's car. He crazy. He cra I mean, crazy. He come walking up in there. Now he gets the start of here. Ian told Marcy and Brad to leave with him, but Brad didn't. Randy, Randall's daddy popping off at the mouth. Next thing we know, Brad done whacked him over the head with a ball, and now they fighting again. So here they go. About to tell this these people nice restaurant, walling around in the floor, breaking stuff, and beating each other like they on WWE. So that's that on that episode. So now I got to wait and see the next episode, see what go on with this. So that's all interesting that happened this episode. It was a good episode, but <laughs> that's all I wanted to talk about. So now we got to get to this next episode and let me do my review on that one. So they uh end up going to jail. So let's go on and get into season three, episode 15. Um, Was it Gopher? Was it go golfer or gopher? I think it's gopher. Go whichever one it is. Come on, Brad and Randall. So they, they went on and got arrested. And then Brad realized that everywhere he go, Randall know where he going. So it was um uh, he is he he found the little tracking thing on his car when he got out of jail. So when they was in jail, Lucian was gonna let him go because you know them his neighbors and everything. He's gonna try to work it out. But no, Randall had to sit over there and keep. <laughs> Calling Lucian Uncle Tom, Uncle Tom. So he told uh, Randall he can stay overnight. Then he said, Brad on home. Brad got the uh, memo that last time from Lucian and learned how to lie real quick. He was like, oh, Randall hit me first. As he know, he whacked. He whacked Randall upside the head with that old glass bottle. But anyway, Randall called. Uh, they going to... Um, you know, they he sent them on and they went on about they they uh business. But anyway, now that Ian know how hard Rand Randall really is, it's gonna prompt him to go on and try to get in touch with Larry to get uh Marcy divorce papers together because he's gonna try to help her go on and get this divorce. Now they finna start looking for Larry because they gonna figure out that Larry left Randall house and he came up missing. And Randall, I think Randall gonna be the one to put two and two together and they gonna fig figure out Eddie gonna take him by the next episode. But anyway, that's gonna um, get the ball rolling with that. Um, when he uh, when when he called Larry to get them papers and he can't get them, he gonna start wondering where he is. But Ian laying up in that bed looking like he needs somebody, somebody to crawl up on his chest and take a nap. Girl, Marcy, she might never leave Brad alone. Host Baronza gonna rush home and have Steven crawl through the window like he easy up from Friday. She ought to be shaming herself. Steven don't need to take that treatment because he seemed like he a real nice guy. I don't know why she trying to uh, treat him like he's some scum, but she ought to be same shaming herself. Then she going to wake up and treat him like she just like he just want her for sex. But she doesn't say from the beginning that's all the relationship was going to be was sexual. Now you trying to flip the script like he just there for a booty, booty call girl by use the hoe, been a hoe, always a hoe, running around with them two little clothes on, flirting and keeping stuff going, all this, that, and the other. All you want to do is jump do bones and now you want to act like that's how he wants you for a girl by. I'm so tired of him, but like he said, you know, you making it real easy for him because he really tired of this. He trying to have a relationship with you, be serious and treat 
treat you like you need to be treated. But now you want to run around here and act like you Eddie and treat people like Eddie treat people instead of uh you don't want no good man to treat you right. You want to be on some BS, but that's okay. Speaking of Eddie, he's sitting outside waiting, and we already know he about to do some do st something to Steven. I don't know what he gonna do. He gonna end up wherever Andrew is, uh, up in the back of a truck like Larry, because you know you can't trust Eddie. But anyway. So, um, she ain't gonna have to worry about treating him like no cheap trick no more. Um, but, mm, we'll see. But, she keep on, I think she gonna end up pregnant by Steven anyway, running around jumping his bones. Um, I wonder if she'll call him her boyfriend then if she mess around and get pregnant by him and let people know about him then. But anyway, Alex's plan worked because Brad butt back at home and sort of running around behind Marcy. But she's stupid because if Brad found when Brad found out what she, what she did, he gonna run back to Marcy again. I'm so tired of him running around. He ought to be tired and ready to lay down somewhere. But anyway, Alex uh better offline at this point because telling the truth they ain't helping her none now brad sleeping on the couch when she tell the truth he say she lying when she lying he think it's the truth i'm about as confused as they are at this point i, I i'm like this don't even tell the truth no more the, the truth what, what, what what's it they say they can't handle the truth they can't they can't handle the truth so stop even trying to tell it because when you try to tell it all they saying is okay you lying Forget it. So anyway, Lucian told Natalie Kelly wants to uh take in Justin if she convicts convicted Natalie gonna weird out because she don't want Justin justice to stay there because she think he crazy and <laughs> she gonna keep on talking about that boy he gonna mess around and hear her he gonna run away that's gonna be some more problems and consequences they gonna be uh tripping out about because the boy gonna be missing in action. And they ain't gonna be able to find it nowhere. And then Kelly gonna weird out some more. You know, she already about to go crazy. And, um, and all that kind of stuff. Then, um, they sitting up in there after Duma Fletcher got arrested. What's what's this fool name? Randa got arrested. He sit up there and baited Kelly right into all that screaming and hollering. He right about he said he she really is about as stupid. As, as, she really is stupid. And I hate to say that, but she really is about as dumb as people say she is. Because she, he said, she stood up there and let, let Randall bait her right into that. How many times do you have to tell her to shut up and shut her dog on mouth? And Kelly gonna sit up there, you in a police station, stupid. With other witnesses and other inmates. And like, you let Randall old lame behind sit over there and holler and lie and say he witnesses this, that, and the other and threaten you and you walk right into it. She is so dumb. I mean, I, I just hate to say it, but like you said, you really are. How many times do you have to say shut up? Anyway, but she set herself up for that. Randall did what he set out to do anyway and destroy everybody in the neighborhood. He didn't destroy Kelly. Um... He done destroyed Alex. Only one he can't destroy is Natalie because she ain't going to play. He done destroyed Marcy. Anyway, the doctor at the hospital done called um, Brad and told him he need to come down there because Marcy sent up here about the miscarriage, which is what Randall set out to do with her. And... This dumb Alex don't want to get her the phone, but Brad going to sit there and hear her. And so now he going to go to the hospital. More reasons for her to be bad at her. She's so, Alex, another dumb one. Her and Kelly need to take their heads together like two coconuts to go poop. Now, 
anyway, she gonna end up going on to the uh, he gonna end up going on to the hospital. But this is my thing when he gets to the hospital, see this doctor, he gonna mess around and tell that doctor, thank you for everything you did in my situation. That doc, doctor gonna be like, don't thank me, I didn't do nothing to change the paper. The baby's is not Randall's. Then he gonna be like, well, who else did she sleep with? Cause the baby is a black baby. And then the doctor gonna be like, I don't know who it is, but it ain't Randall baby. Then he gonna go back to Alice and be like, Alice, you lied. You just sleep with Randall. Who was you sleeping with? I don't. I think the baby. Is is Brad and, and and Alex baby? Either Alex mama was messing with a black man. That's why, cause y'all know her daddy really hated black people. So either that's why he hated black people, or either somebody in somebody family was messing with with some black people, and that's why. Or either Brad got some black people on his side. He looked like he got a little black people on his side the way his booty be looking in them jeans. But anyway, somebody somewhere gonna have some black in their family. The baby gonna be Alex's and Brad's and that better be in the season finale because I don't know how much longer we can drag this out before it get kind of old. But anyway, it was a good episode. Last episode was a good episode. Sorry for my reviews. Thank y'all for being patient while I see about my dad and everything. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see y'all in the next review. Bye.